What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. We're going to keep these rolling for as long as we can. I can never catch you live, so I watch on YouTube. Well, I still appreciate that. And here you are, catching us live now. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy, you know? This is a lot of trophies. This is 10 trophies for us. I mean, it's not 54. I can't even imagine... Dude, these numbers up here, I can't even imagine doing 54 drafts, let alone 54 trophies. So I think we're taking Minsk and Boo here. I have not had Minsk and Boo yet this, this draft session, and uh, it's probably the best card in this pack. I would love it if Ketria Triome came back, because I'm, I'm a sucker for a teamer. I'll even take a Steam Vents, you know, if you're going to give it to me, or a Hex Drinker. Or Arona, any of these four cards, and I'll take. But we're going to start with this Binsk and Moo. Oh, and we're going to take a Mana Drain. And it's going to put us squarely into that teamer, that teamer world that we wanted to be in. Yeah, Mana Drain's fantastic. Hopefully Primeval Titan comes back, but it won't. But people don't like green, it seems like. So, you know, I'll pick up the green slack for you guys if you guys don't want me to. Or if you guys don't want to. Or if you want me to. Language, man. Who's got the time? Oh, Volcanic Island. Hmm, baby. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. I will definitely take a Volcanic Island here, especially with a Mana Drain and a Minskin Boo. That's beautiful. This is a beautiful three cards. These are three very, very solid very solid cards. There's a Cauldre Complete. You guys know I love a Cauldre Complete. I actually might just take Charter Corpse here. I also kind of like Badlands. If we're leaning towards Teamer, like, we just, Marsh Flats just gets nothing we want. But I, I kind of like the potential to splash a black card here. It's It feels like just Charter Corpse, though. Yeah, I could see e e witness tabling, and I would kind of like that, because it'd be nice to get back Minskin Boo after they kill it. We're not going to be taking Stone Forge this draft, I assume. I really don't like Chrome Mox. I think Mox Diamond is good because you can discard a land, but when you're discarding a spell, it's a lot worse. Do I have to explain to you guys why spells are better than lands? Um, This pack is kind of unexciting. If I was Luis, I'd take Brain Freeze because <laughs> I think he's absolutely in love with Brain Freeze, but we're going to take Time Warp here. I like time warping, especially with Planeswalkers. Yeah, and give me that E-Wit. Yeah, getting back Minsk and Boo, Mana Drain, or Time Warp would be just fantastic. <sighs> How much wit could an e-wit wit if an e-wit could wit e-wit e? Oh, Jesus, God. Frankie had a stroke. Uh, I like Torrential Gear Hulk, and I also really like the ability to build around Torrential Gear Hulk now that we have him. Yeah, we're going to take Torrential Gear Hulk. This is also, we're also in red, so if we get Magma Opus, it's really, really cool. Oh, Raging Ravine. Oh, but a Talisman of Creativity, eh? I think I like Talisman a little better here. Yeah, I, this is Ramp. This is a land that comes into play tapped, which is almost the opposite of Ramp. So let's take this on-color Talisman. We could also be red, blue, splashing green. It really just depends.
Hmm. Well, let's take dream halls. Now I feel like we're early enough to take this dream halls and we'll see what can happen with it. Oh, dig. Oh, the steam vents came back. Yeah. Let's take it. Let's take a steam vents. I like playing our spells. Wow. The other let's take dragon Lord of Tarka. We got a, we got a dream halls. Oh, the Ewit came back. Ewit came back. Ewit and oh, Ewit and Dream Halls is interesting. Just get back any of the cards you discarded, or any of the cards you already cast. You know. Um, I don't think Trinket Mage is going to make the cut. Imperial Recruiter, will you make the cut? I think Trinket Mage is... Mm, boy, this is actually tricky. This gets an Ewit. Whatever, we'll take Imperial Recruiter. Oh, you like this, uh... This Ewit art? Yeah, Imp gets Ewit, I just don't think I care. when Like, if we hit, like, a, a, a Mox... Or a Mana Crypt or a Soul Ring or something. I'd rather have Trinket Mage. I think the cards you can get with Trinket Mage are better than the cards we will get with Imperial Recruiter. That was that was my, my thought process there. <sighs> Birthing Pot is trash. It should not be in the cube. So I'll take Elite Spellwind. No, yeah, I'll take Kenrith. What the hell? Oh, wow. I'm really glad Woodfall Primus came back. Oh, Raging Ravine. Wow, that was great. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm having a good time. All right, what do we got here? Mishra's Workshop. That ain't going to do it. Oracle of Moldiah. That's pretty good. Prismatic Vista. Wooded Foothills. Oh, yeah. That's that's probably the pick, right? We already have Vulcan Steam Vents, so this is a tri land. I like Oracle, but it's not gonna it's not really helping our end goal here. I'm gonna take the wooded foothills. I wanna make sure we have mana drain man. Oh, Grim Monolith. And a taiga. And a breeding pool. <sighs> Grimothy seems pretty good here, right? Oh boy, what does Grimothy do? I mean it, it casts these guys pretty early. It's a third turn Minskin boo, but that's not super exciting because you're only shaving off one mana. It's, it's, I think it's got to be better than like one of the dual lands that definitely will come back. I think we're just taking Grim Monolith here. Cryptic Command. I'm probably not hoping for Twin or Kiki because I don't think this is going to be a Twin Kiki deck. I, I think we're taking Cryptic Command. I think we're going to be extremely heavy blue here and just splashing for a couple other cards. Where tropical? Oh, there is a Splinter Twin. There's also a Fury and a Cruel Ultimatum. Oh God, there's four cards I really like. Technically, five. There's also an Exarch in this pack. Let them fight over it. I think Cruel Ultimate may come back. I kind of do like Trop because especially you have Wooded Foothills. God, this is so hard though. Like the point of Dream Halls is to play cards like this. If this doesn't come back, I'm going to be really disappointed. But there's a lot of cards in that pack. There's a Pestermite too. We've also seen Zuranorb, Titania, and Strip Mine in this draft. So this would have been a good one to go in on that. Um, This might be a Sail deck. If we're playing Dream Halls, we could just get to fill our hand and play a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's kind of hard going for the Twin when Twin and Deceiver X are in the same pack. Like, that's just not... I also don't want to be a Twin deck. I want to be playing other cool stuff. Let's take Sail here. Wow, this pack has absolutely nothing for us. That's pretty brutal. We don't have any white or black spells, so we can't discard that guy. It could just be... It's not Urtai. It's just Light Up the Stage or Brawl. 
I guess we'll just take Baral. I don't think this pack's very good for us, unfortunately. I don't mind a Chandra. Is that any good? Also a Seeker's Chariot and a Thrag Tusk. I'll take the Chandra. This mana base is, this mana base is, this mana, the mana requirements are rough. Our mana base is actually pretty good, all things considered. I mean, I think sale is good because you really want to draw seven when you have dream halls because then you just get to fill your fill your grip. Fill that grip. Also, shell dock aisle seems good. Let's take a shell here. Um... I don't think it's acidic slime. We could have batter skull and culture re complete. It might just be thirst for discovery. Oh wow, breeding pool and taiga came back. That's pretty good. Um Taiga's great. I think we just want breeding pool because of all the blue mana requirements. Oh, Titania came back. All right. Fascinating. Well, Splinter Twin came back. So did Deceiver Exarch. So we're going to take Cruel Ultimatum because that's what we want to do. That's hilarious. Oh, wow. Copperline Gorge is actually nice. Yeah, I'll just keep taking the lands that fix. The lands that fix. Yeah, so the Splinter Twin on on Eternal Witness uh, is infinite turns if you have time warp as well. Um, you just get to Ewit time warp, activate, get time warp, play time warp, next turn untap Ewit, get back time warp, um, which is great. However, I want a Cruel Ultimatum in Dream Halls. I have a plan. I like what we're doing. And that's what I want to do. I like Flooded Strand here, especially with Titania. Um, Flooded Strand basically gets almost all of our breeding pools, Steam Vents, Tropical Island, Volcanic Island. Uh, Birds is great, but we're not planning on having a green on turn one. Um, we're kind of a much heavier blue deck with Cryptic Command, Mana Drain, etc. Uh, I think I'd rather just take the Flooded Strand. Unfortunately, I wish the Zorin Orb did not get past force of will is kind of nice it's nice to have a force of will when you're actually i kind of like coalition relic here it's nice to have force of will when you're trying to like do combo -y stuff yeah let's take coalition relic though i want to be able to ramp into oh i like basic counter spell here's an atali oh man they're singing my song I'm going to take the Chandra out. I don't think we want a double red card. I think we're blue, blue, green, splashing red. I like Counterspell because we do have Torrential Gear Hulk as well. Atali might come back, but I feel like we do have some good top end here. Oh man, what is going on? We also do have, oh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Wow. Wowie Kazowie. Thieving Skydiver is also cool. I think we're taking Jace here. I do like Mizzix Mastery. Um, I don't think it's better than Jace, though, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to take this Jace. Time Spiral. Oh, that's fascinating. 
Yeah, we're going to take a time spiral, especially with the dream halls. Boy, that's something, isn't it? That's a late time spiral. Huh. I do like Kinnon. He makes Coalition Relic, Grimonolith, Talisman better. Suspicious Stowaway, also not bad. I would take Zerda, but it's double red, and we're all, we're all like I said, we're not heavy red. And it only works with Grim Monolith. Which I don't think is good enough. Um, plus, like, we don't need, like, our deck doesn't even need that much colorless mana. Like, you're seeing a lot of combos, but they don't really affect our deck that much. Like, making infinite mana just doesn't do much here. I'm going to take Kin and Bonder Prodigy. I'm not sure if that's correct, but it seems better than Stowaway, perhaps? Escape to the Walls is pretty good. I would play an Escape. Um, I also don't mind High Tide. We have a high concentration of islands here. Volcanic Drops, Steam Vent, Breeding Pool. Yeah, well, we have a lot of card draw as well. And the problem with escape here is that it doesn't actually go into our hand. I still think it's probably correct, though. Oh, I think it's not on the ground. Wow, that's that's nice. Actually, all of our red cards are attached to green cards, except for Cruel Ultimatum. So, like, getting a stomping ground... It's still good, I guess, because you're getting a green source. It might just be... I think it's actually Endurance here. I'd play an Endurance. Uh, Phyrexian Metamorph seems really good. Sure, I'll take a Metamorph. Wow, a human Snorlax. <laughs> good lord. Good lord. Um, Now these cards are exciting for us. Just take Seething Song. Oh, World Spine Worm. World Spine Worm could be interesting when we're playing Dream Halls. Oh, Atali. Never mind. I did, I just missed the Atali. Mizzix Mastery comes back. That's pretty good. And this guy. All right. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, we're looking interesting here. This is an interesting, interesting, interesting deck. <coughs> I would have loved to have a way to... Really? I don't think Kinnon's the worst card in the deck. I th I would actually say Titania is probably the worst card in the deck. We only have two lands that actually go with the Titania. I just don't think she's doing much. I'm also kind of skeptical on Escape. I think Escape is great, but we also have Time Spiral and Sail into the West to draw cards. And this doesn't put them into your hand for Dream Halls. You're not, I mean, you're not just looking at the mana though. The seven mana to activate this guy is really, really good. Like all the creatures we can hit for his seven mana ability are metamorph endurance eternal witness uh you're a human actually can't hit you like i mean hitting any of these guys off a of cannon when you have a bunch of mana is pretty solid uh i think woodfall's pretty good i mean we have to have win conditions do we only have we have eight creatures wow uh let's sort by mana value Metamorph is a three, so that looks a little better. Um, I don't know if Kinnon actually should be in the deck, though. Like, the problem is we're not trying to maximize our mana. We're just trying to, like... And I think maybe Escape as well. I like Escape a lot, but... Actually, I can see playing Escape over... Over main deck Endurance... Maybe main deck Endurance just gets them, though. All right. We also could just be a... It's it's Chandra, though. Bruh, Chandra. Hmm. A valid point. We also just have a bunch of counterspells. Like, we could just be a sweet control deck for, at first. Con counterspell, Mana Drain, Cryptic... This is also an instant, interestingly enough. I do wish we had like a Narset. This is 23.
Wow, almost all these lands are playable. Get out of here, Thespian Stage. Wow, all of our lands are playable. This is nine fixing lands. This is pretty good. Copperline and Raging Green are the only lands that don't produce blue. I almost like I almost like Endurance better than Escape here. Yeah, that feels better. I'd rather have another creature anyway. This is only seven creatures. Also, Woodfall Primus goes well with Grim Monolith. It goes well with Dream Spiral. You can discard like... Actually, we don't have a ton of green cards to discard. That's kind of funny. I mean, discarding like Woodfall to cast Dragon or Tarker or vice versa is probably fine. Then we can E-Wit back something. We can discard Endurance. I don't know what this deck is. I don't know if this deck is any good at all. <laughs> It has a lot going for it, though. And I think it will be fun. Let's sort by color. Let's bring this back up just a little bit. All right, so we're heavy blue. I don't know if you guys knew that. Okay. Shell dock. Get out of here, out of here. Actually, you can go in the blue. Blue red pile. Wooded Foothills gets everything. So is Flooded Strand. It can get a blue, a green. Okay, so. What do we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 blue, 9, 10, 11, 12. Definitely not in a black. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 red. I could see even going down one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 green. Which should be fine because we can always search for a green source. So you get one more. Do we want another green? If we add one more green, then we have one, two, three, four, five lands that cannot tap for cryptic. I think that's probably fine. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is 13 blue sources. That seems pretty good. Chandra would make the thumbnail easy. <laughs> oh, why are you? Why are you like this? Yeah, she's great. She's also done by my literal favorite magic artist. She is hot, you know, because of the fire, because <laughs> of the, the flames, you know. Like, we only have two lands that Titania can get back, right? I'm not crazy. Man, if we had Zuranor, if we picked up that Zuranor, we could just play Titania and then sack all of our lands. That would be fun. And we got a Trinket Mage for it, too. This... I'm going to keep this because we have Charter Course. I don't really care about casting Endurance early. All right. No. This is a repeat? Wow. Wow. Jeez. You got to get new material. <laughs> oh, Lord. Dr. Riley, I presume. Correct that whip. Next turn, relic into time spiral. Am I right? <laughs> Just kidding. Didn't little Kaylee stay up this late? Yeah, it's. I asked her for a special privilege tonight. She was like, okay. I love Italy. Italy. Sad days. Oh, look, they took our coalition relic. Who could have seen that coming? Spoiler alert. It was everyone. Let's move that to the front of the bus.
What's it gonna be? Uh, taking Coalition like turns off our entire game plan. Like we we're no longer close to casting Atali. We're no longer close to casting Time Spiral. We can't cast Endurance. Like it shuts off sixty percent of our hand. So yeah, I think so. <clears throat> I would say yes. <laughs> Counterspell shuts down 100% of their hand. Not the lands, though. Oh, that's interesting. We can Mizzix Master and, and chart a course. That's pretty cool. Just kidding. I mean, if not, we can do that. We're not going to, but we could. It's a thing we could do. They do have us on a clock. You know, I feel like Atali is definitely not based on this Los Angeles restaurant. Yeah, you know, this is good enough for me to counter. Let's hit a Cryptic Command. Or just a Grim Monolith. Woodfall Primus is good, too. That's another card I was considering. I'm tempted to Mizzix Mastery here. Because we're going to be Time Spiraling anyway. So this is basically just draw two. And then, like, if we time spiral, this gets shuffled back in anyway. We're not going to get to keep it, so... I'd rather make sure we can actually hit our... Hit our cards here. Yep, that's what, that's what we're talking about. Let's get rid of... It's probably wood, woodsy. Because next turn we can actually time spiral, which is actually... Wait, wait, no, this gets exiled? Oh, no. That's sad. It does not get shuffled in. That's weird. I think it's I think it's because it's not intuitive, right? The, I guess it is. I'm stupid. Never mind. Oh, uh, we can't pitch cast endurance because then it would die. That is not how that would work. If you evoke them, they just die. Yeah, I had a feeling you were getting Questing Beast. I think we're just going to go... I think we're just time spiraling here. Or we can just wait till next turn and... Yeah, I think we're going to give it another turn here. Oh, you block before it dies. Yeah, that's actually smart. No, don't like that. So now they know we have endurance, right? Oh, look at that fat guy. That was not very nice. I think we're just I think we're just chump blocking here because we're not gonna be able to cast this guy. Yeah, might as well exile your graveyard. And by exile I'll put it on the bottom. Doesn't really do anything. Um yes. Okay. We can Atali here. Is it going to be worth it? Goddamn better be. Time warp one time. That would be so sick. We can do counter it. Kill it in response. Eternal Witness and a Liliana. Hmm, fascinating. Uh, I am done. I have cast both of the the cards. 
Uh, doesn't really do much here, does it? I guess we'll get back Counterspell. What is it going to cost to flip? Seven, and they have six. Plus one, plus one, and have trample and haste. Sure. I guess just don't have a land? Don't have a seventh land? I mean, a seventh land? Yep, there it is. So this is actually interesting. I think if we time spiral here, we might actually have a chance to do some things. Oh, Assassin's Trophy. Okay, they're not gonna do the thing now. All right. Um, so they can't flip them, so that's pretty good. Four, five, six, and they only have seven. Oh, interesting. Okay. So I guess we go to two. Unless they kill the Liliana. But they're killing it anyway because they have Questing Beast. Alright, we're going to two here. And they have no cards in hand. So we have a good amount of mana to take advantage of Time Spiral with. It's even more mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Dragon Lord of Tarka, what do you do? Just kill one of these guys, huh? But we gave them a bunch of land. A bunch of cards, rather. <clears throat> well, I think we do have to start with an Atali, unfortunately. Endurance and eh, Kitchen Finks. Actually, Kitchen Finks is not the worst. These are very unexciting. <laughs> uh, done. <laughs> kitchen Finks. Funny enough, if they kill the Kitchen Finks, they get them back. Uh, we play a land, so we can't keep up Cryptic Command. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I think we're I think we're done here. Hoping for dream halls. If we had dream halls, we could have pitched uh Woodfall Primus to cast a Tarka. Could have thirsted to draw more cards to oh dear, they're just flipping this guy. Yes, I think they are. So this is 8, 9, 10, plus 5. I think we can actually survive this. I think we lose everything, but I think we can survive it. We take 2 in the air, because we can't block that. So, we get to go 7, 4, there. So we're killing this guy. We take 1 and 2. Oh, Trample Death Touch. Smart. Smart. Yeah, there was no real way to play around that, I guess. Okay, so what we've drawn off Thirst. These three. 
Yeah. All right. Well, I want to be honest. Chandra does seem pretty good, actually. I hate to say it. I'll take out endurance. <laughs> oh, biscuits. Well, I mean, they played Ulvenwald Oddity and Questing Beast, both of which die to Chandra, so... You know. Time Spiral. Oh, it's Time Spiral. There's a, Yeah, it's got to be Time Spiral. Even though there's a Minskin Boo there, I think Time Spiral is the most powerful card in that... In that selection... So if we go Breeding Pool here, we can play Comparline Gorge next turn. Kite Sail Freebooter. Every game. So long, Jace. All right, that's a thing, I guess. I mean, no matter which one I play now, the next one is going to come into play tapped, so we might as well start with a Raging Ravine. Plus, I'd rather have Raging Ravine in play in case we find lands that we... If this ends up in our hand, I'd rather just... This is the one I'd rather be in our hand than this one, so... Yeah, this guy's a real asshole. <laughs> I will counter Dothy Voidwalker most of the time. Oh, they're also missing a land. Um, yeah, let's do that. Chandra and Questing Beast. <laughs> <laughs> that's hot I think we just won and we'll kill this to get my Jace back thanks for the Jace pretty 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 good pretty good alright well your turn okie dokie Sorry, I had to sit there and add. Well, subscribers don't have to sit there and add. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll just submit like this. Man, Chandra did some work there. Playing Atali, getting a 7-7, seven, seven, and then getting 8 mana value worth of cards is pretty good. That's like 15 mana. That's like an Emrakul. <clears throat> Interesting. This hand is interesting. I don't think it does anything. But they went to six on the draw. <sighs> I'm going to keep it. I think we have some time. We can also cast Thirst. Find more things. What are you more excited for, Fallout TV show or Fallout Com Com Commander MTG decks? Um, currently, Fallout MTG decks, because I don't know enough about the Fallout show. However, that being said, Walton Goggins is in the Fallout show. And god damn, I love Walton Goggins. Time Spiral again. Mizzix Mastery? Sure, that's actually pretty neat.
Remember that YouTube Fallout show? No, not at all. I think you made that up. Discard a card. Which one are they choosing? Just making me discard? Why doesn't it say? <laughs> they're targeting us, so I assume they're just taking Salem, the West, or Thirst. Sure. Doesn't this help you? Also, Mizzix Master under here, my man. That's uh, going to be good next turn, so long as they don't have... If they had Kite Sail Freebooter, they just would have played that instead. It just hits more things, and it's a threat, so... Liliana. Yep. Well, we do have to find a way to deal with that. Oh, that's interesting. That's a way to deal with that. Okay. Okay. So next turn, if this Coalition Relic survives, we get to Dream Halls. Discard Woodfall Primus to play Eternal Witness to get back Woodfall Primus. That doesn't do anything. Discard Eternal Witness to Woodfall Primus. Discard something to play Metamorph to copy Woodfall Primus. Yeah, that's fine. And then we get two six sixes with Persist. That's kind of cool. I took your advice. No more commercials. That's for me. Oh, it does say you subbed, but it doesn't say there's a sub notification. That's interesting. Either way, antibody, I appreciate you, buddy. I was just, I was just giving you a hard. There it is. I was definitely just giving you a hard time. I don't expect anyone to subscribe. Oh. Oh, this is the turn, my dudes. Oh, uh, one, two, three, four. We're going to dream halls. All right, here we go. Let's see if the juice is worth the squeeze. So we're going to cast this by discarding witness. Because now we can get back witness with cruel ultimatum. Uh, I'll kill this Liliana. Cast cruel ultimatum. Target you. We'll discard Thirst because I like having Metamorph to copy Woodfall Primus or Eternal Witness. They just lose their whole hand here. <laughs> yep, that's pretty good. We'll get back Eternal Witness. Uh, we didn't play a land yet. So we can actually play Eternal Witness here, or uh, Metamorph here, but we can play Minsk and Boo... Wait, we can we can discard Minskin Boo? Oh, hold on, we're doing that. Oh yeah, this is what we're doing. Uh, cast this, discard the Minskers and the Booskers. Uh, get back Cruel Ultimatum. Yes. Cast this, target you. Discard Metamorph. Get back Metamorph. <laughs> Oh, that was it right there, my dudes. What would we have drawn off Cruel? Time Spiral? So, discard Counterspell, play Metamorph, copying Woodfall Primus, discard Jace, play Time Spiral. Actually, we probably wouldn't have even played Time Spiral. We would have just, would have just played Jace and, and locked them out. Well, that was, uh, that was a game right there. Let's take Endurance out and put Chandra in the main. Have to give credit to, to audio ethic there. This is that was round one, yeah. Dream Halls is fun when you can just literally rip all the cards out of your opponent's hand with cruel ultimatum. Um, turn two talisman seems fine. We can also get a like a volcanic with this. Probably turn one, we'll get a steam vents.
Second meme did deserve a little, uh... Stop! He's already dead! I really just wanted to get rid of their snake, you know? Man. Oh, oh, look at this opening on the Chrome Mox. Thank you. Audio ethic with a sub. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. Really appreciate you. Oh, look at this. Turn one and you have three cards in your hand. I am fascinated. All right, yield until the end step here. For Chandra. Dream Halls, Mana Vault, Mind Over Matter, Stroke of Genius, um, Meditate. What are you saying right now? What's going on? Are you just mentioning old, old standard decks when standard was absolutely degenerous, degeneracy? Steel Seraph. Interesting. Well, I will not block. Let's get steamy, boy. I hit okay. Crypty. So that should keep us alive for a turn. He said at 16 life. Steal, Seraph. I barely know Seraph. Dear God. Make him stop. Oh, boy. Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. Yeah, I feel like adding Come Sail Away by Sticks to the soundboard just for this one match, for this one card. It might be a little extreme. So we're at 10. It's not great. <sighs> Metamorph. Metamorph just copies this guy. That's actually pretty good because we copy it as a 5-4. <clears throat> we can also just keep up Cryptic here, which I think might be correct. But we really don't have much else going for us. They have two cards. I think this feels right. Wait, it copies as a 3-3? Three, three? That's weird. I did not think that was copyable. I thought it would just copy the card as a 5-5 five, five or 5-4. Five, oh, that's, that's bad. Well, we learned a valuable lesson that day. Well, they could have killed it either way, so I guess it doesn't matter. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We go to 1 here. <clears throat> not sure what we can draw that would actually keep us alive even a Tarka only kills like one creature here yep well this was rough uh, I guess we can tap down next turn yeah I don't think I don't think Grimonolith into, into a Tarka even does anything here we'd have to get like Let's go to the beginning of combat. Cast, tap all your dudes and draw a card. One, two, three, four. That's all I got, so. And you're gonna 
Charmy. Uh, okay, great. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this streak. 23 months. That's basically two years. Oh my god. That's like our entire relationship. If you add two more years onto it. You know, but close. It's really close. Um, Let's take out probably one of these five drops. Four drops, rather. Um, probably Mizzix Mastery. I think it's probably a little too cute here. Maybe take out Woodfall Primus. Do we have anything else that's really good against them? Not really. Okay. Katie just got called in. She's on call this week, which is like the worst part of being in residency. Uh, Moochel does his own laundry. No one touches his laundry for obvious reasons. Uh, let's get a blue and a red. Oh, look at this streak. Wow. Yikes. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, even though you just subbed, we're going to have to ban you now. It's really awkward antibody. Why did you do this? We were having such a good time. Gramonolith. Grimothy McMonolithium. Nope, nothing. Okay, well, we'll play an oozer. <clears throat> X is chat. Stage right. Oh, Elk Tears with the 10 bits. Elk Tears is like, I got a dime for you. <laughs> with a Dan's Yoshi emoji, emoji at the end. Emote? Emote? Emoji? What is he saying? Someone get the boomer some help. This elder millennial is looking rough. Um, yeah, all right. Well, next turn we have Minsk and Boo and Cryptic, and if we manage to hit Grim Monolith, we can play this. This Dream Halls, discard Minsk, play Cruel Ultimatum. That's great. Let's go get a Volcanic, I think. The only double, we have Eternal Witness and Endurance, but we also have Chandra. So maybe it is just Breeding Pool here. Yeah, we'll get a Breeding Pool. I think the odds are just higher that we're going to hit a, a green card than a blue card, or a red card, rather. <clears throat> Having their first card as a flyer, though, is awkward, because then we drop Minsk and Boo, and he takes three, and he goes down to one, and it's just... It's a whole thing. Grimonolith. Chandra. <laughs> Breeding pool. That was 11 bits. Was it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Dang. Oh, God. Punished. But we get to keep Cryptic Command up. And once we hit Dream Halls, like, I think we're actually looking quite good. Like, if we're able to counter the next spell, draw a card, play Dream Halls, discard Cruel Ultimatum, or, you know, play Cruel Ultimatum. Whatever this is, I'm countering it. <laughs> um, Maybe we'll let that resolve and just bounce Steel Seraph. I think that's probably better, actually. Return, draw. Because now we just get to play Minskin Boo, and then when they play their creature, we're all set up to uh, drawing four with this. Oh, that's even better. All right, this is looking good.
All right, let's see if they got a haste creature this turn. Do you think they do? Now I feel bad. I suppose I should have gone to sleep a while back in my actual bedtime. Then I go ahead and say borderline nonsense, trying to be funny. Now I face banishment for my favorite Twitch channel. If, I, if we could just wait for Jarnathan, I am sure we could work this Mr. Stunning out. I know he would. Oh, wonderful. What is this? What is that from? I, what, is, what are you quoting there? That's amazing. So presumably you're going both at Minsk and Boo. That's fine. Well, now we get to dream. Oh my God, the D&D &D movie? I've heard it's so good. I've heard it's really, really good. Um, and now they discard three cards, which makes dream halls significantly worse for them. Hmm. Sack the Othari. We get back scavenging ooze. Uh, let's get back oozer. Oozing and cruising. Um, so let's attack. Play Ooze by discarding this. Discard this. And now we should be, they should be dead. Because we have Raging Ravine. So one, two, three, four. This is 10, right? Thank Oof, you. got him. Antibody with the gifted subs. Oh my God. It's 100% better than the first movie, but still a couple of issues with it. I heard it's getting this in the 90s, man. Thank Antibody, you. buddy. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you. This is because of Shonda, isn't it? God, I knew I, was, knew I was doing you a big favor. Thank you. <laughs> um, It's actually, I have a flash drive where I put like movies and TV shows that I want to watch. And then I just keep it plugged into the TV Thanks. and it's on there already. Uh, actually maybe me and I'll try, I'll see if me and Katie can watch it tomorrow night. <clears throat> Cause it's, Thank you. I've been meaning to watch it for a while. Okay. We're going to go get a steam vents here. And then we're going to play. We're going to keep Mana Drain up. We're going to Minsk and Boo. We're going to try to keep Counterspell up when we do that. Oh, no, don't. Uh, sure. Steamable McVentums. Do you ever see Oppenheimer or Barbie? No, um, but they're both on my list. <laughs> I have a lot of movies on my list, okay? Uh, I guess we'll just play Filand. And if we can counter a three drop, we go into next turn with six, which means we get to play Minsk and Boo and keep up. Oh, we don't have counterspell, I guess. So that's not a thing. We can't counterspell, then also keep up counterspell. That's not how that works. Beautiful. Oh, Actually, if we counter a prototype Steel Seraph, oh, that's that's getting countered. There's literally no world where I'm not just countering a fourth Eurolingus. We could also play Coalition Relic for the three and then cast Minsk and Boo off that. Yeah, I guess we're doing that. Free Relic. Um... I don't understand why anyone was because it's a great movie. <laughs> Mark, that's like the funniest. That's like the, the most controversial thing I've heard you say, because you're pretty open minded.
Give me my little hamster man. Not gonna attack cause I'm not on the aggro plan. Oh yeah. Don't kill my little hamster. Mainskin Boo is kind of like Ophiomancer in the sense that he just keeps making one ones every turn if you don't have one. It does make me sad that Boo is so replaceable though, you know? Are they going to Council's Judgment my Minskin Boo? Because I feel like they're giving me a lot of time. That's basically, that's better than Council's Judgment actually because they took two. Oh boy. You know what's funny? If we can make one more black mana, we actually could cast Cruel Ultimatum. We can make two off of... Man, where's the Kinnon when you need it? Oh, wow. Um, That's pretty good. So I think instead of taking two, I kind of just want to play ooze like this and just play breeding pool tapped. Because next turn we get to keep up Torrential Gearhulk. <clears throat> and I feel like we're winning this, this beatdown race. Uh, I think your your um, impression of Barbie as a, like a traditional... Um, like popular culture figure is normal, but I don't think that's what the movie is about. <clears throat> yeah, if they want to take four, that's totally fine. I mean, Torrential Gear Hulk with Mana Drain is pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. We've got a lot of mana. Okay, we're drawing a lot of lands here. That's not it's not as good as we want it to be. Oh boy. I'm just making some egg salad. Dear God. Why is he like this? Someone explain it to me. Yeah, we're just gonna pass and keep up Torrential Gear Hulk and Mana Drain. And if they don't do anything about that, No blocks. Oh, all right. I'll just take three. Sounds good. Lots of counters. Are they just not going to do anything? That seems terrible. You're going to kill my, my little hamster? What an absolute jerk. Brutal. Oh my god, yes. So we can counter whatever they play, put them to one. <laughs> Buddy, please. That's not... That's not happening. Come on. Why would you think that's happening? Hit okay. Counter this. That's just rude. Let's draw something we can cast, please. Fuck. Well, I guess we can technically cast that. Uh, yep. This is a lot of mana that we can't do anything with, really. You got what you asked for. And another finger on the monkey's paw curls. Hmm. 
We put them to one. They attack us for three. Man, Chandra would have just won us the game. That would have been funny. Um, dude, I can make two black here. Two red, two blue. Why can't we make one more black? That's so sad. This guy would have been really sad. Um... So if we block, this guy takes three, and then they can give him negative one, negative one. We can put them down to one, but then they get, they get four life from this, so they're basically at five. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out whether I should attack here or not. I'm, I'm pretty sure I do attack. But also, kind of have to make sure that that's the correct play. Yep, did literally nothing to cast. This is kind of frustrating. <laughs> All right, you got it. Put a charge counter. Charge it up. Time spiral or sail away. Oh, they're gonna crack that immediately. Okay. One time. Island? Sounds good. Guess we got one turn left unless they draw a creature. <sighs> yeah, this is this is sad. Like, I feel like we've had a bunch of good plays this game and just ended up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine lands deep. Well, if they have anything that deals three, we're dead. Okay, so it's not a haste creature. It's got to be a spell. A little incinerate, maybe. Some lightning bolts. Okay, we're just going to seven. That's, we got another turn. Yield until the end step, I guess. That's totally fine, but it still kills us next turn. We're still dead next turn. Just one time I want a card... Keeps us alive. Oh, God. Eternal Witness, what do you do? Hmm. Interesting. Well, we're going to name green. Interesting. Well, it gets Minsk and Boo back. But then they kill this. And in response to us putting counters on Minsk and Boo, they kill Minsk and Boo. And so that's not going to do it. Well, that doesn't do anything. Oh, well, I guess we have Chart, of course. Yep, we're just going to have to get back Chart, of course. Because Minsk and Boo does not do it. Okay. Now we're living the dream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A Tark is a bit much. I guess they're both getting discarded anyway, right? So we'll discard Cruel. We will time spiral. One, five, six. We kept a colorless instead of a real mana, which is unfortunate.
All right, we got Cruel back. So what do we want? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have eight total mana. We could play a Tali here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could play Talisman into a Tali. Chandra doesn't do anything. It's kind of sad we hit that Cruel Ultimate again without... But if Atali hits something like Dream Halls... Boy, we're really spinning the wheel here, man. Ragavan, Dragonlord of Tarka. It's not nothing, I guess. They have seven cards now, so I'm pretty sure we're dead. I think we needed something a little bit... A little bit more substantial than that. Uh, Tarka only kills one creature. This, this guy will never die from an Tarka. Oh, they can't... I guess they, they got to pump it a bunch. So, one, two, three. So they can pump it twice. But I'd rather get rid of at least one of their creatures. Another pain mana. Hmm. Cracking a clue here with eight cards in hand. They can't pay. Oh, they just let it die. Okay, so they're going to do some bullshit on their turn, I bet. Oh, boy. Well, I wish I had one more blue mana. But we don't. They could have removed counters to pay four, or they could have just removed counters to pump him, which is probably better. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. They go to one either way. Like, they could have made it plus two, plus two, and then plus two, plus two again, which would have made him a five-five to prevent to, to, to prevent the three damage, basically. Yeah, they both do the same thing. This is actually... I'm surprised we're not just immediately dead, but I guess at seven we're not terribly close. And I don't think they can cast a, a haste flying creature, deal with Dragonlord Atarka, and... Like, we got big flyers, big ground creatures. They don't have any haste creatures. I, yeah, this is this game is shockingly close. When Jack Burton is at the wheel of the deck, anything is... Who's Jack Burton? Is that from... Is that from the D&D movie? Oh, Big Trouble in Little Chine. <laughs> Good old Chine. Yeah, Zealous Conscripts isn't out, sure. But if they had Zealous Conscripts, I don't think they'd be taking this long. That's like being like... Actually, what can they do? One, two, three, four, five. No, they can't do... They can't do fourth year Lingus here. They got eight cards in hand. I'm surprised they're tanking this much. Thank you for reading Chine. I'm just here to... Oh, we just win the match. Oh, buttery biscuits. I would have loved to see a... Wow, we're 2-0? Oh, my God. Ooh, this deck has been a blast, man. So, 
the thing about dream halls is that it frightens me the symmetry of it, right? Like you get to discard cards to cast spells, but so does your opponent. So it seems like one of the best ways to mitigate that is to just make sure your opponent just doesn't have cards in the hand because you cast cruel ultimatum against them a bunch of times. So that's just my strategy. You know, amateur stuff. Wow, I can't believe I gave them seven cards plus their card from Thraben Inspector and they still just didn't have an out. Yeah, I feel like they should have pumped when they had, uh, when I was at 10 and they had two counters on Jitte, they would have put me on three. And they only would have had two counters on Jitte instead, but that still puts you up to five. Like, I don't know if that's better. Thank you. But that would have put us in a much worse position, I think. Super average. Thank you for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate you, my dude. Amateur Samateur. Speaking of food, who else could go for some flapjack right about now? <laughs> We're at a point now where I have no idea what you're saying is real or quotes. We've gotten to that portion of uh, of the Twitch chat. Um, interesting. Some interesting. I'll keep this hand. I'm very, I'm very plussed by this grim monolith. Let's look at what's, what does plussed mean? Bothered, phased, vexed, or concerned. So I'm, I'm not plussed by this grim monolith, let's say. Well, that's good against my dragon lord of Tarka. So that gives us some information on what to do about that. I don't even know what a flap jacket. It's like a, it's a pancake. Oh my God. Double Adanto Vanguard matchups. Good Lord. What is the deal? So if we play monolith this turn, Next turn we'll have three, four, five, six, and we can go Dream Halls. We'd have to tap Monolith to go Dream Halls. We can then discard Dragon Lord of Tarka to cast Sail into the West. Draw seven. If we draw another card, we can play play that with Metamorph, then cast Sail to draw seven. All right, fingers crossed this all works out. Because next turn we can go tap Monolith for three, use two of it to play Gr Talisman. And then we have Talisman, land, this, this, and one floating from Grimothy. All right. Of course, if they play Lauren of the third path here, it's going to be worse. Yeah, that's fine. We're doing well. I don't care about any of this. Oh, Woodethy. So discard Metamorph for, um, discard Metamorph for Sail, discard Atarka for Woodfall Primus, I think. Or, or, <laughs> interesting. Okay, we're gonna do this and this. Tap this, talisman. One, two, three, four. Dreamy boy. It was a dreamy boy. Like we could actually go discard a Tarka for Primus, Metamorph for Sale. Well, double Atarka doesn't work because it's a legendary creature. I'd rather play Woodfall Primus and get rid of like Caracas. Is that what we want to do? I 
the problem is we want to play both green cards. We I would love to play Primus getting rid of this and then Dragon Lord getting rid of everything else. But I think just playing this guy is correct here. Cast, discard you. Get rid of Caracas. Yeah, I like Primus into Sail a lot here. Cast, discard you. I will choose Embark. Cruel, it's made him in a blue spell or a red spell. One time. Give it to Papa. Uh, discard your hand and draw seven. Sure will do. Sure will, buddy. Gee willikers. Boy, will I. Oh, time warp. Fascinating. Well, <laughs> we're a little short on colors here. That's unfortunate. We can only cast one of these things. I think it's got to be time warp, and then we get to untap some lands, too. It's got to share a color, huh? Or time spiral. I said time warp, but I meant time spiral. We could also just... Actually, Time Warp might be better. Then we can actually hard cast this and Thirst. That's interesting. Because we'll have five mana. This gets us three. Oh, and then we have Ewit to get back Time Warp. Yeah, we're going to do that. Cast by discarding. Target ourselves. Or we can discard Thirst, actually. Yeah, let's discard Thirst. Drawing seven is feels better than drawing three. Oh, we can't attack with that guy yet. He's He doesn't have haste. Okay, okay. Um, one, two, three, four. We didn't draw... Oh, we just, we just draw, like, Time Warp and cast it, right? But then we're out of... But then we're out of juice. No, I think we Ewit for a card and then cast Time Spiral. Because they have seven cards. They're not getting any better. Yeah, let's get Metamorph. Does it matter? No, we'll get Thirst. Oh, uh, let's play a Rager. No, I think we want a breeding pool because we want to be able to have multiple blues up. Uh, yes. Cast. Pitch this guy. One, two, three, four. Okie dokie. Mizzix Mastery <laughs> does not do much here, but we get to keep up Actually, we get to... Oh, actually, this is pretty... This is really good. Um, So, cast this, pitch this. So we can go... One, two, three... Four and one. Cast Minskin Boo. Keep up Counterspell. Uh, yep, use that. X damage to any target where X is that creature's power, huh? Yeah, I was just going to sacrifice this, but we're just going to win the game, I guess. So, Wow, this deck has been really fun. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Boy, we did a lot of things, didn't we? We sure had a good time, didn't we, folks? This makes me kind of like Dream Halls, to be honest. What's Dream Halls go for? It lets me also put in just a bunch of broken cards. That, that are hard to cast, right? So, like, the restriction is on, like, Cruel Ultimatum or Inspired Ultimatum or Genesis Ultimatum, for example. Um, 
you get to put these cards in here and they, they don't just get to be degenerate cards. Like you get to build around them. Yeah, I might pick up a Dream Halls. Guess the card has the word dream in it. Plump Yoshi emote. Okay. Yeah, I think the thing about Dream Halls is that, like, it's not inherently broken, and it takes a lot to build around. Like, man, time time warp into Time Spiral, into, like, Dragonlord of Tarka, into Minsk and Boo, into Woodfall. Like, Woodfall, like, be, uh, this, I cast Woodfall, Atarka, Time Spiral, Dream Halls, and sail into the west off of off of dream halls. Oh, and this guy. Like this is a lot of mana that I just should not have been able to do for free. And like your opponent not only has to have like instant speed cards that do things, but they have to be relevant, you know? And they're not always relevant. This hand's rough. Three drop with nothing to get back except for Flooded Strand. Four drop, five drop. Four drop, six drop, seven drop. I think we're going to mull this hand. Ah, uh, mulligan. Keep. Snizzeep. This guy, and to keep up this guy. These guys don't do much, but if we hit that dream holes, keep on dreaming. I guess Woody can go away. We don't have any green sources, so... We found a green source. See, the question is, do I keep a counter spell up for their turn three? Were you able to finish watching Justified City Premier League? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. And I enjoyed the ending tremendously. Hmm. What did they hit? They hit JIT. They hit the JIT. Yeah, I guess we're just passing here. I don't love not playing Monolith and being behind here to like multiple Lelia Le Le attacks, but what can you do? Oh, that's actually interesting because if we played Counterspell or if we played Grimonolith, they would just be able to cast their Lean and Relic Order for free. That's funny. Oh God, please don't do that. Sure. All right, we're going to take five, six, seven, eight. We're going to five here. Hit a, hit a giver, giver of runes. You got it. We do have a turn to tap down their team. Hmm. 
Oh, they're just sacking a draw. All right. I mean, you're in good shape here. You don't need to be. You don't need to be going ham or anything. Talisman. I think we're just going to tap draw. That feels correct. Because it prevents us from death. Okay, you got Mox Pearly. Let's go to the beginning of Chombat. Cast, tap, draw. One, two, three, four. Take him down. Oh, I'm going to reprieve it. Oh, they did not. Oh, and we get a sale. Well, that would be better if we had Dream Halls off the top. Oh my god, Dream Halls one time. Thirst for Discovery. Not in fact Dream Halls. Well, that's probably the end of for us. I don't I don't imagine there's anything Sale can do for us. If only Mizzix's Mastery was an instant, then I could... Drawing cards is the reason for living. Yeah, you know, that's not incorrect, I guess. Let's embark on a journey. What's the worst that could happen? Ugh, Mana Drain, Itali, Dragon Lord Atarka. All these beautiful cards that would just be wonderful if we had. Yeah, let's just go to the next one. Actually, I wonder if Crystalline Golem is worth bringing in. A 3-3 three, three that just blocks stuff? That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Mizzix Mastery seems a little bit too cute. We don't have any discard outlets for it. Um, and maybe I'll just bring Ooze in as a blocker. The problem is it doesn't block Lelia very well. I mean, Kinnon and Grim doesn't really do much. It, it gives us mana, but it gives us colorless mana, and this deck really wants colored mana. I mean, you're, it, it, you can net infinite mana with them. No. No, Kinnon and, Kinnon and Grim break even. I was thinking Zerda. Kinnon and Grim breaks even. Yeah, because it's 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 netting, it's cost, it's it's adding four, and then it takes four to untap, so. <sighs> Still good with it's still good with talisman and coalition relic, and he's still a body. Yeah, we'll just throw in a we'll throw in a kin in here. What the hell? Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this because of the Grimothy. Could be a relatively early like it's just a turn for a tolly. Also, man, can you imagine getting cruel under a shell dock? That would be cool. Cruel. I'll put a metamorph under there. More like, I'll be right there. Sign me up. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Hey, baby, you want to get cruel under the shell dock? No. Leave me alone. Please stop it. That's my little Grimothy. Oh, that was it? That was it!
Man, it's awkward to not have anything to... I think we want to chart here just because we definitely want to hit um, a second red source for a tolly. And we did it, boys. Uh, let's discard Breeder. Play Flooded, and we'll go get a Steam Vents this turn. And then next turn, we can do the old turn Quattro Atali if they don't kill our Grim Monolith. No blocks. Man, just attacking with Giver of Runes. What it, What give? What give Ur of Runes? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. It's got to be done, right? This is what we're here for. Next turn? We ain't doing nothing next turn, my man. We're getting a tally back with Cruel. Drawn three. <laughs> Yeah, get this guy. Oh, that's what we hit. Oh, biscuits. Oh, that's the worst. We drew two lands and a talisman. They have one card, though. I guess we're probably fine, right? I'll give him a turn with two cards. Caracas, that's a bummer. Okay, well, now we just get to... Oh! Sniggledy-piggledy. Yep, here's, here's what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. Just cast this guy. Get back Cruel. Discard Atali, cast Cruel. Get back... Oh, boy. This is what we've wanted to do for... For our whole lives. Target you. Discard a Tali. What is this? Solitude? Just get her into Eternal Witness? Okay. That's fine. Uh, choose a creature. The only one I got. Okay. Uh, let's cast Discard Chandra. Get my two little freebies, even if you bounce him. Uh, we'll get a Lelia and a Mana Drain, huh? Yep, that'll be a Dunzo. They have no cards. I kind of just want to play Jace here, even though... Oh, we get a Metamorph. We can actually copy a Tali. And get some free more some more free hits. They're going to bounce a Tali in response. I bet. I bet. Oh, they didn't. Okay. Uh, choosing a Tali to keep. I'll choose the fake one. Because if they want to bounce this, then we get to play. a. It's a bl having a blue card in hand is better than having a red card in hand. Um, we're just going to cast mine this one because they have zero cards in hand and I'm not, I'm not about giving them, uh, look at the top three cards. See what we can hit here. What just happened? What's going on? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I hit the wrong one. Okay. Um, Yes. That's unfun. Yep, you got that. Oh my god. What a knucklehead. 
how do these things happen? They have one card in hand and it's Lelia, so this is fine. Jace is at five. They're going to bounce a Tali, which becomes a blue card in our hand. And then we can... That was sad. Yep. Yep. You're going at face here, it seems. They got a mountain. You're going at face or Jace? Who are you attacking? Turn strength versus Jace is being attacked. For three? That's actually fine. Actually, we probably could have just cast Woodfall Primus, which is kind of comical. All right, so we get to look at four cards. I have a feeling that's gotta be something. <laughs> Uh, let's make it a blue. Okay, draw the cards. That should do something. Put these back. Play this. Well, we're just going to pitch this. Oh, we're just going to pitch this to play sale, I guess. All right. <clears throat> Copying their creature doesn't do much. It just deals them three. I'd rather just try to kill them this turn. Uh, yep. So now we have Torrential Gear Hulk. What can that guy get back? Not much, but we have Minskin Boo and Crystalline Giant. Can this get haste? Haste would be pretty stupid because like, if you get it on a farther turn, it's like doesn't really do much. I guess we can just cast a bunch of dudes. We can also discard Counterspell to cast Gear Hulk and, and target the Counterspell. Uh, Gear Hulk cannot target sorceries. We can actually Gear Hulk to sail into the west, though. But we're at nine cards, so maybe we try not to deck ourselves. That feels correct. One, two, three, four. Oh, I guess we have actually more so we have one two three minskin boo boo and this is six so let's actually see if this does it oh my god are we, are we just three oh oh my god three oh Dream Halls is a blast. Doesn't flinging Gear Hulk kill them? Can you? You can't deal damage at anything. I don't think. Uh, it's X damage to any target. Oh, any target. Gear Hulk is also five toughness, so no, that would not have done it. And they were at six, but either way. That was a sweet draft. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch. Check me out on YouTube. Do Anywhere you're watching, watch it on the other thing too. And then go subscribe there. I'll see you next time.